What do you think of my pink pants? I think these came out because of the Barbie movie. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Cashmere and I have with me down here Zeus, the giant schnauzer. What I want to talk about uh, just really quickly is about the training treats. Now, if you have a puppy, what I recommend doing is fill their dish up with their kibble food and put a cup of that into a bag and use the kibble for their training sessions. That'll teach your dog that they need you as a person because you are the number one thing that they need and that is their food. That is their survival necessity. And if you can be what they depend on, your bond with them will keep them a lot closer to you because they need you, you have the food. And it'll keep it also a lot cheaper to be training them with their kibble than constantly buying treats. Now, another thing is when you're using actual treats as their training um, reward, the downfall to that is you can only feed them so many treats before it creates an imbalance with their nutrition for the day. So let me show you an example with the two main treats that I use for Zeus. I try to use dehydrated meat. Um, that doesn't have a lot of additives to it because I try to keep Zeus on an all meat diet. Um, so let me show you my two examples. So the first one that's a quick grab is these ones here, the beef liver. Now these come already in these little bite sizes, but it's nice because you can break them where they're dehydrated. You can break them into half a lot easier. So when you are luring with your training, which I'll have another video about luring, this comes in handy for that. But on the back, it shows you for a large dog, he can only have eight of these treats. So when you are constantly training on something, that is a problem because you are feeding treat after treat. And the other one that Zeus really likes is this, the beef tender sticks. Now these ones, they can only have four at Zeus's size. But the nice thing is, is they come in, I got Zeus, look at this. You want something? You like these, you do. So this one, you can only have four, but they are a decent size. So if I'm going to be training him, I like to use these because he can get more bites out of one treat. Um, and also when I'm working and doing my client's nails, um, this is a great thing for me to keep in my apron because it's just one piece. I just break it off as I need it when he's not listening or lying down. But ever since I came back from vacation, he's been doing exceptionally well with laying down for the whole nail services. So I like these. I do like these a lot more. Now, because I pulled his treats out, Zeus is watching me. Is it going to have one, please? All right, come here. That's it. Good boy. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Yuck. Other paw. No. Sit. Good. This paw. You just really want something? Give me a paw. Yes, okay. Good boy. And a little ring comes in handy because you can really train them to follow your hand really well while you hold on to the treat. So this is what I do for holding on to them. I put them right in the palm of my hand and I use my thumb. And that way it creates enough pressure that he can't actually eat it until I release it. So it allows him to follow my hand in the direction in which I want him to, except I have a big one in this hand that he wants. <laughs> And that's all you're focusing on, is the big treat. Okay, lie down. Yes, you good boy. And up. Good. Sit. Yes. Good boy. So as far as treats go, choose them wisely because you do not want to have an unhealthy, obese dog either. I know a lot of people actually use um, hot dog wieners and cut them up. That is fine, but you should read the label to the wieners and you will see that there's very little actual beef to some of the brands. So just read the labels if you're going to start um, feeding them human food. What I would recommend if you want a cheaper option is even buy them discounted steaks and cook them and cut them up. That would be a lot healthier than uh, processed foods as a treat. It's all about keeping your dog healthy and not throwing their food balance off when you are training them. Because believe me, you are feeding treat after treat after treat when they are a puppy because you want it to be successful for them. 
Therefore, any little tiny movement towards what you're trying to accomplish, you are feeding them a treat as a yes, you're doing good. That is what I want you to do. So choose your treats wisely. And hopefully uh, this video gave you a little tip on using the kibble ahead of time if you can, because that will save you a lot of money and create a really strong bond with your dog as far as them staying close to you.